Hello everybody, it's me, Corey. Today I'm going to teach you advanced camera manipulation or making the C-frame of a camera very specific. So, first let's get everything we need. Okay, so what we needed was a local script in the starter G1 or starter pack and we needed a cam part in workspace. Uh, you don't really need a cam part in workspace, it can really be anywhere, but... I mean, we're only going to use it C-frame, but how about this? He'll spawn in here, and the block will be looking at him. But first, let's anchor the block. And then we'll go into our script and put the basics. You know, local player equals game dot players dot local player. And... This kind of new one, local rs equals game get service run service. Now we can put rs dot render stepped connect function. Now this will run every time that it calls for a new frame to be created for the client. So let's make it actually take the C frame of the block. So game dot workspace, or if you choose to, just regular work under case workspace dot current camera dot c frame equals workspace dot cam part dot c frame there now it should look at the character as it spawns alright forgive me I forgot that that's the front of the block now, hopefully it's fixed. There. Now it's looking at our player. Another cool thing that you can do is you can make it cfirm.new Let's see. Um workspace dot cam part dot position and player dot character dot head dot position there we go now it will always look at the player from the block This would be really cool if you want to create like a scene of a humanoid running across a type of corridor or something. Um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you'd like to, and peace out.